more videos of Kampala, the sun today, Uganda, beauty in variety. Now I'm on the Buganda Road. Uganda Road. So in Uganda, the biggest kingdom and the oldest kingdom is the kingdom of Uganda. And this is Uganda Road. Over on this side would be the hill of Makerere where the first uh, one of the best universities in, in um, East and North Africa was first set up the famous hill and University of Makerere where several uh, statesmen have studied um, people like um, presidents of Kenya and uh, as some of Tanzania maybe have all studied at the great university the hill of Makerere remember Kampala is built on seven hills uh, you have Namirem the hill you have um, uh, Rubaga Hill and several others about five more Nakasero Hill uh, which is I think then you have Kololo Hill so Kampala is the land of seven hills and right now we are on Buganda Road we're, we're heading towards the Kampala Entebbe Expressway which is the fastest way get to the Entebbe International Airport. It's called the Kampala Entebbe Expressway. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel which is Jean Mary Muziai. Jean Mary Muziai or Jean Mary Muzi. Now entering the Nakasero uh, suburb where you have several embassies and high commissions like the South African High Commission, the, the South African Embassy, the Indian High Commission and several others all found in this Nakasero area. So once again, we have several very interesting names for the Kampala suburbs. Names such as Nakasero and names such as Kololo, Muyenga, Rubaga, Namirembe, the Hill of Peace, Mengo, where you have the, um, the Kabakas Court. Uh, you have places like Rubaga and now this is the Lugogo hmm. This is the This is the road on which you have the Garden the famous garden city Yeah, it goes from Mulago up to Jinja Road Jinja is an old industrial town in towards eastern Uganda where I grew up and attended Victoria Nile School, formerly an international school or a Goan school with a very nice culture of music and maybe that's where, where I picked, started my music roots. Uh, we had a supply teacher from the USA who taught us several folk songs from the USA like Red River Valley and um, Swanee River 
and um, I can sing some of you, I can sing some for you, and maybe I'll do that at another time. Um, songs like um, um, Swanee River, Red River Valley, um, and the like. Now we are just below Mulago Hospital. Up there is the Mulago Hospital. Um, that's where my daughter was born. In the Mulago Hospital. In the year 2000. And my son was born in Bokoto in the year 2005. Over here you have some churches, some the Kakande Ministries, setting up a big complex of church here. And many, many people go to him for prayer, for healing. And right now we're heading towards the Kampala and Tebe Expressway. some Ugandan schools, public or private school. That's the Makere University Primary School. We have Pugema University up there. So we must be just below Makere University. That means we're heading towards Boise. Why say um, suburb? Say the way to Masaka of Fort Portal. So we are about to hit the Kampala and Tebe Expressway, which is a very relaxing and scenic um, route to travel. 
it's not exactly the Route 66. Well, maybe we could call it the Route 66 of Uganda. The Route 66 of Uganda. The Kampala Entebbe Expressway. So take this Route 66 with me here in the Pearl of Africa. the Route 66 right here in Kampala city, the capital city of Uganda, the Pearl of Africa in the East African community. songs such like too many fish yes we have many fish in Uganda so you got the song too many fish um, listen to the song and find out what it's really about too many fish in the sea well we don't have a sea so let's say too many fish in the Lake Victoria, one of the biggest lakes in the world, where you have the River Nile starting its long journey on the way to Egypt, where it finally ends. Right now we're heading to the Entebbe International Airport. Now Entebbe means the chair. Well, what chair? Well, it's the chair on which the president or the leader of the country sits. Sits because that's where you have or we used to have the state house even though right now the state house is in Nakasero in Kampala uh, but uh, Entebbe is where you have the state house and the uh, Entebbe International Airport it's a very quiet and peaceful town Have moved 
is about to be made during the infamous regime of General Idi Amin Dada, CEO, conqueror of the British Empire, and things like that. Life president, king of of all the fish and, and lands on this, on the, on the, on all the fish in the sea. Several, several ridiculous titles he gave to himself. Hello. Yes. You've forgotten the cover. Is it in the car? Or you forgot the cover inside? Okay, so I make sure it doesn't spill. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, I'll do that. Yes, I'll, I'll find the polythene bag and, and tighten it. No, it's okay. Thank you for telling me. All right, thank you for telling me. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Yeah. So we have several famous movies made about Uganda, like the King of Scotland, because he once declared himself the King of Scotland, this man, General Idi Amin Dada, who finally fled Uganda and went and lived in Saudi Arabia, where he finally died at the age of 70-something. We also have movies like The Entebbe Raid, or The 90 Minutes in Entebbe, um, where the Israeli uh, army came and to rescue some of their citizens who'd been held hostage. And um, you have stories about the lady who got left behind by the name of Dora Block um, in the Entebbe raid. How did she get left behind? Well, she fell sick and was taken to the hospital. And when the Israeli commandos came and evacuated their citizens, um, the lady Dora Block got left behind. Okay. This is an important safety message for Uganda National Roads Authority. The speed limit on the Kampala and Tebe Expressway is 100 kilometers per hour. Driving beyond the speed limit puts your life and the lives of other road users at the risk of death. As you drive through the expressway, please keep left and least when you are overtaking. Drive responsibly and save lives. Yes, save lives on the Entebbe. Kampala and Tebe Expressway save lives. And up ahead you have the sign Kampala and Tebe Expressway. And I'd like to call it the Route 66 of Uganda. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Jean-Marie Muzi-Eye or Jean-Marie Muzi, where you'll see several videos from around the world.
next time you come to Uganda make your plans to go to Western Uganda to see the famous mountain gorilla then you can go to the um, the Hoima and Masindi area and see the famous tree climbing lions of Uganda you get to see the crested crane and several other animals like the zebra giraffe elephant buffalo actually all of the big five can be found here in Uganda we mustn't forget the rhinos and the cheetahs can all be found in Uganda. over at the Kabira Country Club you can stay over in Entebbe at the Pineapple Guest House or you can stay close to the Baha'i at the Kisu Cottage and Kisu is the name of the small small nest small nest Kisu Cottage is next, very close to the Kabira Country Club, the Baha'i Temple and the Kampala International School of Uganda, which was formerly the Kabira International School of Uganda, and Kabira means um, a forest, okay.
about riots. Don't forget to listen to that song on my YouTube channel. Type it in the search box. safari in Uganda so the word safari means a long journey and that's uh, a word from the language of Swahili Swahili is a, la is a language um, um, that evolved uh, because of the relationship between the Bantu people of East Africa especially in Kenya and Tanzania and uh, the Arabs from Oman especially in the country of Oman where I have lived and worked before in the city of Muscat you have shockingly fluent speaking Swahili people it's a very beautiful country um, the country of Oman the city of Muscat and the very green area of Salala. And many people have no idea that you have such greenery in the Middle East, but yes, you have it in Salala. Okay, you have beautiful towns like Sohar at the seaside next to the Gulf of Oman. Um, so, Swahili is a language that evolved, and Swahili. Um, are the Kiswahili is the language and the people who are an inter a result of intermarriage between the Bantu people and the uh, Arabic are called the Swahili people. The language is Kiswahili and you have greetings like Jambo, Habari Gani, Missouri Sana. That Jumbo is high, Habari Gani means what gives. Missouri Sana means um, a very good. Okay, and then you have um, words like Shukrani. Shukrani means thank you very much, borrowed from Arabic. We have several mixed words between Arabic and Swahili, which I have found out having lived and worked in two Arab Middle East countries, Bahrain and Oman. So you have words like kitab in Arabic, which means a book. And in Swahili, kitabu. You have words like kalam in Arabic, which means mm, a pen or pencil. And in Swahili, or Luganda, kalamu. Okay, so you have several similarities. Uh, you have words like um, Aya. Aya is a verse in the Bible. You have words like Mandazi in Arabic meaning um, it's like a bun that's been fried in oil. And in Swahili, Mandazi. Um, <coughs> the also similarities with some languages from India because you have words like gari in Swahili which means a car or a bicycle and in Hindi it 
means a bicycle or a train. In Luganda you say Gari Yomuka which means the car or the wagon that blows smoke. You have words like chai <coughs> in Swahili and Luganda which means tea. And in Arabic and Hindi that's tea as well. You have words like Mayambala in Hindi or one of the languages of Hindi, Mayambala is a mango <coughs> in Swahili, Muyembe also in Uganda, Muyembe you have words like Sigiri in Hindi, that's a charcoal stove in Gujarati, Sigiri is a charcoal stove in Uganda, it's a <coughs> excuse me, a charcoal stove as well you have words like Sohani a big plate. Same in Swahili and Luganda. You have words like Duka. In Swahili, Duka is a shop. In Luganda, it's a shop. And in Hindi, it's a, a shop as well. You have words like, um, let me think, Sabun. Sabun in Hindi is soap. In Swahili and Luganda, sabuni is soap. I'll give you, give you one more. You have words like chapati and um, dunia. So dunia in Swahili is the world and in Hindi, dunia is also the world. So you see quite a linguistic connection between uh, Asia, India, the Arab world, especially Oman and East Africa. And the language of Swahili transverses um, much of Africa because it's used in especially in Tanzania, then in Kenya, then in Uganda, then in Congo, in Kigali, in Burundi, in Mozambique and um, those are the main areas that use Swahili. There's a funny story that Swahili was born in Tanzania and Zanzibar, um, um, grew or evolved in Kenya and died in Uganda. College Buddha, which was founded by the Protestant missionaries, and then you have Namib Yango, which was secondary school, which was founded by the Catholic missionaries. Then you have schools like Jinja College, founded by the Catholic missionaries, uh, Busoka College Muiri, founded by the Protestant missionaries. Uh, 
um, and uh, a few more I could name. Um, you have um, Ntari, I think Ntari was founded by the Catholic missionaries as well. That's where our president, Yoweri Kakuta Museveni, went to school. And that's also the place where my father, my late father, went to school, Ntari Secondary School. Also have schools like where I think it's called where where Anyanji. Oh, I shouldn't forget Gayasa High School, founded by the Protestant missionaries. A girls' high school, one of the leading girls' high schools. That's Gayasa High School. We also have Nabingo, also founded by the Protestant missionaries. Uh, yeah, those are a few I can remember at the moment. You have the Savio Boarding Primary School, founded by the Catholic missionaries. Mm. Where are Nyanji? Yeah. Founded by the... I don't know who founded Where are Nyanji, uh, but those are some of the schools. So we are approaching Entebbe town, right now we are in, um, I don't know what this area is called, but we will get to see the Entebbe town, which is a very calm and peaceful town, the dream town that everyone would want to retire in. Probably the town where I will retire in several years' time. I was born close to Entebbe town because I was born in the village of Kajansi, Kuluzi. Kajansi, Kuluzi, and I actually was. Um, Kajansi falls in the area of Sabagabo, Makindi. I had very humble beginnings, born in my father's house. I'm the only one in my family who was born in a home and not a hospital. Very humble beginnings, like those of Jesus Christ. Humble beginnings have very untold endings. Approaching in Tebe Town, so this is the speak. I think we just passed the speak um, hotel of Entebbe and now you can see sites of the Victoria. Uh, attack 
entered Entebbe town officially. Very quiet town, quite similar to Jinja town. But I think Jinja town was much better, but with the fall of the industries, that um, beauty and variety town of Jinja ended because Jinja drew people from all tribes of Uganda. Typically, your beauty in variety. That's what I sing about in my upcoming song. Uganda, beauty in variety. This is my third travel video and many more are to come from around the world. I won't tell you where. It's going to be a surprise. But it's going to be from the most unexpected places. So log into my channel. I am Muzia. We are approaching the Windsor Lake Victoria Hotel. That's another hotel that I worked at for quite a while, performing music to the diners. Over on my right, we have the State House. A former state house of Entebbe, where the infamous dictator, deceased General Idi Amin Dada, would have lived. quite a sunny morning it's about 10 in the morning so look out for my upcoming song the sun today please subscribe to my channel i am boozy eye or jean mary Massey or jean mary boozy eye the Kisifer International School of Entebbe. This is one school where my daughter went to. She attended the branch in Kampala. She went to Kabira International School, which is 
now Kampala International School of Uganda. Among others, she went to Springsdale Nursery, went to Aga Khan Nursery, um, later on she went to the Aga Khan Academy of Mombasa, then um, famous boarding schools and the oldest or second oldest boarding school in Kenya which in uh, sorry in India which is the also the first IB full continuum school that's Kodai Canal International School she then went on to Christ University um, University, one of the most prestigious universities in the state of Karnataka, in the city of Bangalore, in India. She also registered the university in the beautiful town of Pune. One of the most scenic towns, enchanting towns of North India. And that's the town of Pune, in the state of Maharashtra, where I also worked, where they speak two main languages, which are Hindi and Marathi. I've also visited the famous Goa, beautiful enchanting town of Goa and I do have a Goan connection because the primary school I went to which is Victoria Nile School was predominantly attended by the Goan children after the colonial rule of the British. some airplanes as we are approaching Entebbe International Airport. That's the White Sand Beach. Is this Jamaica? No, it's not Jamaica. Is this the Bahamas? No, it's not the Bahamas. It's the Pearl of Africa. South Africa is not part of the East African community. Okay, approaching a security checkup, so I'm going to stop here and please subscribe to my channel. I am Muziai or Jamari Muziai or Mary Muzzy on YouTube. See you for now. Bye bye.